Nothing is being done in that aspect. Even in the conventional war rules, you don't have to kill children. You don't have to kill women that are helpless. See children that are just but one, two years. See the way they have been butchered. This is very uncalled for. And yet, I don't know whether the president is seeing all those things. I don't know whether the security people are seeing all those things. Why is it that they are not condemning it? President had never one day come out with a solution and said, this thing that is being done, this is the solution. What is the capacity of our military? I don't think we are up to 70,000 in army. Over, 100 and, uh, over uh, 180 million people. Where is justice? And yet, even what happened in uh, uh, the demonstration going on in Medjugorje, the police can come out openly and say it is a lie. Are we now blind? Things that have been showed on the Bluetooth, on the, uh, on the Bluetooth and we have seen that, those things. And yet, the government and the police, the security are denying it. Then there must be something behind it. The president has to come and address this nation on why he's very quiet and why he's not profoundly solution. When he came into this, when he came on his campaign train, I think that is what gave him the merit. When he promised he was going to arrest this issue of Boko Haram and this Hesman issues. But today, he is folding his hands. And people are being killed on a daily basis. He expects that Nigerians should be celebrating him for burying their loved ones. I think we have to, as the legislative arm, come out with a solution. Even though they are hating us, but the truth is always bitter. And we will continue to tell the truth. Let them have it in mind. Posterity will judge us one day. That once upon a time, there was a national assembly called the Eighth National Assembly. The profound solutions to this, they said and they cried aloud. Their cry had been just like they cried in the wilderness that nobody is hearing it. But one day, posterity will judge. And we will certainly come to the conclusion and they will say, oh, there was a time the National Assembly will have has said this and it was not happened to. So I believe we should not relent, we should not withdraw, and we should continue to forward ever on this fighting for injustice, fighting to see that, yes, uh, this nation come in unity and come as one entity. Because as it has been said earlier on, nobody. I was on a flight from Malaysia down to a U.S. dollar time. I met with a German who said Nigeria is so corrupt because we sat side by side with him. I became very angry. And because he's a German, I told him, I said, ah, what you are saying here today, are you a descendant of the Hitler? I gave it back to him. I gave it back to him. And I told him that Nigeria, as you are seeing, it's not everybody that you see in Nigeria that is corrupt. It's not everybody that you see in Nigeria that is, that is playing injustice. But there are people behind it. And those people must, brought, must be brought to book. So that at least we can have a peaceful environment to live. We can have a country that we call our own. I can travel from north to east, west to south without any fear or contradiction at all. I may fall a victim. And I so said, this grandson killing has to be stopped and we have to sit down as a Senate and then profound solution and then give it to the public. Let the international world know that yes, this thing we are saying, it has been said. We will not keep our mouth quiet and nobody can seal our mouth because we, are, we have the mandate of the people that have elected us into this place. 
all the ministers that we are talking about, they were just appointees. They have never gone to the rural areas to find out and find and say, okay, we are sitting for their support. They sat down and they gave them, gave, gave them the position at the platter of gold. They don't know anywhere. So they have to. If the, if the president wants to have a good government, then he has to listen to the National Assembly. And that is what makes the country and make our regime here today to be democracy. So I said, I strongly condemn the gruesome killing and I believe under the leadership of our Senate President we'll be able to come out with a very good resolution that the, the international world will now look at it and then play the justice. Thank you. Leader of the Senate.